Hey, what's up, box? The Wii was a very underwhelming console. From the beginning, we saw the quick downfall of this console, especially the fact that Nintendo thought naming this console the Wii U was confusing enough. Have you ever gone to someone and tell them you all play some Wii U? Never has that happened. The first time in years I've heard someone mention Nintendo was when the Switch was revealed. Well, except when I went to parties where they had Wiis and Wii U set up for games like Mario Kart, Smash, and Just Dance. Yep, that's what I played. At this point, the Wii U has no main game to come out this year, 2016, 2017. We might, we might see more games on this console, but that's if Nintendo wants to support a console. This video is sort of a remake of a video that I made about more than a year ago about Nintendo NX, except I'll talk about things in random order. Consider these my top 5 things I want on the Nintendo Switch or the NX. I don't really care, it's just whatever you want to call it. Remember when Nintendo had a good virtual console? I'm not saying that because the Wii U's virtual console was bad, okay? I might be saying that, but wasn't that big. Why release Wii games on the virtual console when it's not even 15 years old like the GameCube? It's like they forgot about this console, except when Nintendo made a GameCube controller for Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Why release games on separate dates? When you can just pour the games from the Wii's virtual console onto the Wii U. Wii DS games on the Wii U, okay, but GBA games on the Wii U. It made sense to port DSi games, but not GBA classics. It's about nearly three generations old, and it's not a handheld. I know Nintendo Wii U needs more games, but really would have made more sense for the GBA to be on the 3DS. I don't need to explain that. Be sure to just port Wii's virtual console on the Switch and add GameCube games so we don't need to spend a hundred dollars on a game from that era. Porting Wii games can make sense due to it being two generations when it launches. Also, please port Dreamcast games on the Switch. Sonic Adventure on the go, anyone? Okay, number five, a better virtual console than the Wii U, and one that makes sense. Also, what's with playing the same game twice on a different console? Nintendo, please think your practices next time. One thing a console needs is a way to stay powerful throughout its lifespan. If a new console is less powerful than the last gen console, then that's bad because it'll age real fast. Like 0 to 100 real quick. Oh lord, know yourself, know your work. If your console is powerful than last gen, then it's real good. The Switch can be as powerful as it can, but since it's a hybrid, it should be run the power of the PS4 or the Xbox One S. Remember, it's a hybrid, so if it's going to be the power of the consoles mentioned, then we should be set. Battery life is also an issue, so it should be around 5 hours or more. The tab is 720p, so that's real good. Hopefully the console runs at a smooth 60 FPS. Oh my god. Also, 4K, Nintendo please, like 4K gaming. It's it's a new thing right now, like Xbox One S at 4K. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if we could play our games in 4K, but okay. <laughs> some very good online. This console had very promising online, but like many areas, Nintendo should improve the online. Welcome to 2016 guys, the year of Discord and Skype. All my chat needs to be in. Wii U chat is very lackluster. Do you really want to load up your laptop or computer, load Skype or Discord, and set up a call and play? Maybe it's up to you. I'm not the one to judge. Nintendo, why are you so scared of including a chat system? Just add an option to mute people. Maybe a party option for this console. Nintendo, please include Skype onto the console. The friends list should be expand it to a bigger number, maybe more than 10,000 people. People are tired of removing their friends on their Wii U. Nintendo should have a way to transfer Wii U friends and 3DS friends on the Switch and it would re remove the pleasure from that. I'm so sorry if I burped. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please keep the online free. Don't be that one company that makes you pay for online subscription. Also, if you can, on the online shop, please release four free games every month. Nintendo I beg of you, okay? Like every single company, Sony, Microsoft, 
they all release free games every single month, so Nintendo, you should follow them, please. Between the biggest games on our console, you most likely want to get the biggest third-party games. The Wii only basically had ported third-party games from other consoles and PC. The Wii had a bunch of shovelware. The GameCube have had the same of the main third-party games, and the N64 had some third-party games. The Wii U had nearly no third-party games, so I hope this console has third-party games. People buy Nintendo consoles and another console for their games. Nintendo is losing on a huge market. This point has been said many times. So I'll leave you with this clip of Wii U partners or partners that were supposed to be part of the Wii U But then they left the Wii U to go develop other consoles because they're more powerful Nintendo please listen to me now or else I'm gonna kill you Psych! That's the wrong number! It seems like Nintendo sort of heard the voices of the hardcore gamer We couldn't be more excited to be able to bring the power of EA Sports to Nintendo's new console uh, More of the same, it really is opening up a whole new world of, of gameplay This is exactly what it takes to shape the future so, I don't have any armor mentions, so... Yeah! <clears throat> The Wii U had the driest years, oh my god. There are currently 712 games on the console and only 198 games of retail and physical copies in only 4 years. Sure, we had a lot of great games like Super Smash Bros. 4, my personal favorite, Mario Kart 8, Splatoon, and many more. But, 50 ports on the Xbox 316 PS3? Sure, why not? Twilight Princess HD at 30 FPS? Sure, why not? Rayman Legends delayed to be ported on other consoles? Sure, wait, what? What? Skyrim, Skyrim on Nintendo console. That's good, right? It could be the remastered version, but still, it's not confirmed yet, not sure. Even then, when Nintendo gives this information in a direct in July, hopefully they announce games for launch games and provide date games for 2017, 2018. I want no droughts, like seriously. I really don't want that. Companies want to develop games that are good, but you gotta have at least one main game a month. Is that hard? Bring back old world franchises would be good. How about Metroid game? And I've Zero Kid Eras. I could get on a rant and list 25 games I want to see revived on the Nintendo Switch, but I digress. Also, do not region lock your console. Nintendo people are tired of buying a Japanese, uh, European, Australian, and American Wii U. Who even does that anymore? Like, honestly, please tell me. So that's it. I hope Nintendo has most of these points in mind. I'll still buy the console to support, but Nintendo needs to have some of these in order to stay relevant like they were before the Wii U. The GameCube had a following, so I expect this console to have a following in the 2020s or the next decade, just like the GameCube had this generation and is probably going to have for many generations to come. Peace out to the next day. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Goodbye, guys. Mm. I was running through the six with my wife.